Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here to do a review of Black Mirror Striking Vipers. Now, Black Mirror is a show on Netflix. It's usually a season of short stories. Um, one story is more weird and strange and crazy than the last. Okay. Now, they're starting out with a bang. <laughs> it definitely leaves you thinking, W... T F. What just happened? What am I watching? Okay. What am I looking at? That's what sucks you in to Black Mirror. But let's talk about striking vipers. Okay. That is what um, this episode is called. All right. So we have Danny. All right. Danny has been in. You know him. He's been in all of the Avengers movies. He was Captain America's side. You know, he was the black guy with the wings. All right, he's married to Theo. They are out and about drinking, smoozing, you know, having fun. His friend Carl shows up with a, you know, pretty girl, and you know, they're talking, you know, having fun. And Danny can sleep, Carl can sleep, so they thought, hey, let's play a video game. All right, it's, it's like Mortal Kombat, you know, finish him, you know. So, they're punching and kicking and, you know, just having a good time. You know what guys do with, you know, video games. But years go on. So, we see Danny, all right? It's his birthday. They're having a little cookout. Danny looks stressed and tired, okay? Hadn't shaved. His edge up needs to be edged up. You know, the hairline was faulty, okay? So, I'm like, now, what's going on here? So... There was an awkward exchange between a woman and a man there. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, all right, Danny. Now, what you done done? Danny, what are you doing? So, Danny's still cooking out on the grill. The woman, she's been over. You know, he's looking at her butt. All right. And I'm thinking to myself, okay. Danny, you sleep with this woman. Are you having an affair? Because that's where the Black Mirror producers, creators wanted us to think. You know. Oh, okay. He's looking at this woman. There was an awkward exchange. You know, he done had him an affair. Okay. Then, there were some kids running around. Okay. Danny and Theo has a son. And there was another son running around. I'm like, child, honey, that is Danny's son. Okay. So, Carl shows up. His homeboy. He shows up, he's outside, they're, you know, exchanging a few words, and he was like, yeah, this is my son. And he was like, oh, that's your son? And he was like, no, not that one, this one, you know. So then I thought, okay, now they're making a reference to this boy, you know, may possibly be his son. I was like, he definitely done cheated. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so, his friend Carl was like, you know, what's going on? They was like, what's up with that girl you was with? He was like, man, we broke up. I got a new honey. Okay, here she is. Beautiful girl. You know, looked very young. All right, but she was pretty nonetheless. So Carl hands Danny a box. And he was like, you know, happy birthday or whatever. And it has to, it was a, a, a clip or an accessory to a, a new video game, you know, new virtual reality game. He was like, we're going to play this. Okay, so later on that night, Danny couldn't sleep. So he um, goes into the living room. He hooks up the game and Carl is playing. Carl's online. So they start playing this video game. Now, it's where they, you're there, but it takes you like virtual reality, okay? It's like a virtual reality game, and it's called Striking Vipers, and it's like a Mortal Kombat. Well, his friend Carl plays an Asian woman named Roxy, and then I don't know what Danny's character is. He's an Asian guy, too, a cutie, okay? So, they start fighting. And um, Carl Roxy was beating the crap out of Danny's character, okay? Now, they are out cold in real life. But in reality, in this video game, oh, they're all in it, okay? So, they're fighting and kicking and, you know, punching. And Roxy's getting the best of Danny. And then all of a sudden, 
okay? They start doing this kick. Get Roxy gets picked up, slam. She ends up on top of Danny. And they start kissing. Did y'all hear what I said? Let me break that down one more time. So we have Danny, who's at home, chilling. We have Carl at his house, chilling. All right? They put this little clip on their heads. They're like zoned out. And it's like a virtual reality game, like a Mortal Kombat, where they have characters. Carl's character is Roxy, a hot Asian female. And Danny's character is a hot Asian male. And they beat the crap out of each other. And then they end up kissing. Now, these are just characters. They still embody Carl and Danny. Okay. So, in actuality, Carl kissed Danny. So, of course, they jump up. You know, Danny's freaking out. Because it's like, uh, why is my best friend kissing me? What is going on? Okay. Honey, that threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that. I was like, where is this going? It was kind of weird. I was like, did they just kiss? <laughs> so, of course, time goes on. And, of course, you know, it was, you know, you know, kind of, you know, weird. All right. So, they called each other. And so, Danny called and was like, look, man. You know, I'm sorry about last night. You know, I was drunk. And so Carl was like, oh, man, it's all good. You know, even though we kissed, oh, yeah, you were drunk. You know, yeah, no problem. You know, we'll look over it. Ain't no big deal. He was like, cool. That's cool. Let's play again. <laughs> so they played the game again. You know, they just swept a little kiss under the rug because Daddy said he was drunk. So they start playing again, y'all. And when I tell you, those two characters had sex. You hear what I said? Those two characters, Carl's character, Roxy, and then Danny's character, the hot Asian guy, had sex. Two best friends. Okay, one's a married man. Um, two heterosexual men, their characters are having sex, but they feel all this, okay? They can still have, like, you know, a little bit of a feeling, all right? They know what they're doing, all right? So this goes on. They continue to have mad, hot sex to the point of um, Daddy, who's married to Theo, don't even want his wife no more. He is confused. He's like, why am I having sex with my best friend in this virtual reality video game? I don't even want to have sex with my real life wife. Okay? Now, his real life wife, now his wife, Theo, she really wants to have a child. Okay? She wants a baby, but he ain't feeling her right now. He wants to have virtual reality sex with his best friend, Carl. Even though Carl is Roxy. Y'all. So there's been, you know, some strain on Danny and Theo's marriage. And, you know, Carl and, you know, Danny. They're not really communicating with each other. Like, you know, they're like, you know, avoid each other because it's, it's weird. You know, it's weird, and they don't know what to say to each other, so they're just, you know, having sex in this virtual reality world. So, Theo, she um, texted Danny and was like, you know, I made reservations for tonight. I got a babysitter. And so he was like, for what? And she was like, oh, for our wedding anniversary. And, you know, thanks for that. Thanks for remembering our wedding anniversary. Of course, she, he was like, oh, my God. Okay, he's been a little distracted with the virtual reality sex with his best friend. But we move on. So they go to the restaurant. Now, she's sitting there at the, she goes to the restaurant. She's sitting there waiting for her husband, Danny. And there's an attractive man, you know, peeping her out. You know, so he comes up to her and was like, oh, hey, boo thing. You know, how you doing? And she was like, uh-uh. Bam. I 
I'm married. Eyes married and now. So, take your feet over that to the street. Now, <clears throat> meanwhile, his friend Carl has his little boo thing and he's trying to have sex with her and it don't work. Because his mind is, you know, focusing on Danny and how good the sex is with him in this um, Striking Vipers video game. So she's looking at him and like, oh, well, you know, can I top myself off? <laughs> you know, since you can't do it, I'm going to have to do it. So he was like, all right, you know, cool, you know, whatever. Who says that? Who says that? But anyway. So, it just starts getting very uncomfortable. Things are just like falling apart because, you know, Danny don't know what he's feeling. Is he gay? Why is he having sex with his best friend during this virtual reality game? It's just so weird to him. So, he tells Carl. He says, listen, that is it. All right? We are no longer doing this. And so, Carl was like, what are you talking about? He was like, man, I can't be doing this. This is cheating. I am cheating. Okay, it's a, you know, it's like porn. Okay, it's just a game. We're just having fun. And so Danny said, no, no, no. It does not feel right. Okay, it feels like I'm, I'm hiding something from my wife and I don't want to do that. Man, this ain't right. And of course, Carl was trying to convince him because Carl likes it. Okay, Carl likes, you know, that feeling of, you know, having sex with Danny you know, even though he really, I think, in real life, he wants Danny. Okay? Alright? But this is better than nothing. So, Danny said, I'm done. He puts up the um, game and um, he hides it. And he continues on with his life. Well, Theo, time goes on and Theo um, becomes pregnant. So she finally got pregnant. You know, everyone is living, you know, our normal life. Well, you know, guess what happens next? Okay. Seven months go by, and Theo is pregnant. And it comes up on um, Danny's birthday. So Theo had fixed a birthday dinner for Danny. And she was like, guess who I invited? Guess who I texted? Because... At this time, as y'all know, Danny cut off all ties with Carl, okay? He hadn't heard from him, didn't text him, didn't call him, didn't play that game, nothing. So, um, Theo, you know, texted Carl and said, look, it's Danny's birthday, I'm making dinner, come on over. Now, she didn't tell Danny any of this, so Carl, of course, he shows up. It's been seven months. He shows up for dinner. It was a little awkward. She could tell that something was wrong. But she just didn't know what. So she gets up. She goes and gets the dessert. Okay. Carl and Danny's there. And Danny was like, man, what are you doing here? And Carl was like, what do you think? Okay. Why do you think I'm here? And so they go back and forth. And Danny said, I told you I'm done with that game. Okay, Theo's pregnant. I, I can't be doing that. It's like, I can't. And so Carl was like, what is the big deal? Look at me when I'm talking to you, and you tell me that that was not the best sex you ever had. <laughs> and of course, Danny couldn't say anything because I guess it was. All right? Because the way they uh, Black Mirror filmed it, I mean, they was having sex everywhere. Throwing, lifting, kicking, kissing, smooching, hitting. I'm like, child, flipping. <laughs> of course it's the best sex you ever had. So, Carl wasn't having it. Carl said, I'm going to be online at midnight. Okay. You know, meet me there. She comes in with her little dessert and there was a heated exchange. She was like, everything cool? And they were like, oh yeah, we good, we good. We just, you know, catching up, haven't seen each other in a long time, you know. So, of course at midnight, all right, Danny and Carl, they're back at it as Roxy and the hot Asian guy, all right. They get to kissing and the pulling and the slobbering, okay. Honey, they was having, you know, it's been seven long months. So they got to get in where they fit in. And honey, they are going at it. I mean, so hot. Kissing 
licking and grinding and licking. I said, child. Then Roxy says, I love you. <laughs> Talk about putting a pen in a balloon. <laughs> Honey, Daddy was like, I uh, say, what now? What? It just went, and how did it, it started out like this, and then it went. <laughs> Honey, it went limp real quick. Daddy was like, what? Of course, Daddy was taken back by this because he thought it was all just fun and games. You know, they're just having sex in this video game. It's not real. You know, even Carl, in his mind, it is real because he loves Daddy. Okay, he's not actually having sex with Danny, but like I said before, this is the next best thing. So when Carl actually says, I love you, he meant it. I love you. I want to be with you. We need to get together. Okay, so of course, Danny was like, no, nah, man, absolutely not. So Danny throws a temper tantrum. He's kicking over this. He's kicking over the curb. He don't know what to do. All right. So he was like, exit game. So he exits game and he was like, that's it. I'm done with this. So, he has Carl meet him in a parking lot in real life so they could just settle this. Okay, it's raining. They both there. And I'm like, child, are they going to have sex in real life, y'all? When I thought they was going to have sex in real life, I was like, child, I need to see this. <laughs> but, so, Daddy says, kiss me. All right, we need to kiss each other. All right, we need to get this out right now. You kiss me, if there's any sparks, then that means that we have something. If we kiss each other, then we know we're all good. It's just a game. So let's just kiss. So, they kiss, and then the kiss ended up with them getting to a fist fight, a, an actual fight. Okay, they were pushing each other and, you know, throwing each other down, you know, kind of like that video game, but, you know, like a weaker version. So the cops show up, they get arrested, Theo goes and picks up Danny, they're in the car. And so Theo was like, what is that about? Why are you fighting your best friend? She said, now I know at dinner, y'all were mad at each other, but I didn't know that it, it's going to lead to a fight. What? What's going on? Talk to me. And so he said now, and she said, I want to know everything. All right. So Danny looks at Theo and it goes black. So time goes by and we see, um, have another function. I think it was Danny's birthday again. I don't know. She didn't have the baby. And, um, she hands him that clip to um, the Striking Vipers, the, the video game. And she said something like, just one night or something like that. And he was like, yeah, you too. So she gave him permission to continue to have virtual reality sex with Carl. Meanwhile, we see her at a bar while some hot young thing is looking at her. Child. So, basically, they give each other a pass for one night. He can go and have sex, you know, virtual reality sex with his best friend Carl. She won't say nothing about it. And she can go and, you know, have a one night stand with whomever. So, I guess they get a pass of sex for one night. Y'all, this strike the vipers, child. I was too through. What did y'all think about the episode? Were y'all thrown by this? I mean, I just thought it was so weird how, you know, one minute I thought it was about Danny having, you know, he was sleeping with this woman and possibly, you know, had a child out of wedlock to him literally banging his best friend in a virtual reality game. That's Black Mirror, all right? Let me know what y'all think, all right? Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will have the next episode up um, sometime um, next week or sometime. But um, until next time, friends, bye.